Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 2 of Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. Last episode we landed here on this mysterious planet after our ship kind of, you know, went kaputs on us, so... Oh, these things only take one shot. Even with the combustor, and the combustor's weak. So that's good, but I don't think we're gonna have as much ammo drop around here since this is a primitive looking planet with like a lot of monstrous creatures. Yay! Except I took damage. I, I believe when I first recorded this in part one of like the recording, since I didn't record part two, I had already upgraded my health, and you, you just upgraded by killing enemies. But it's really weird that my health didn't upgrade in this ep er, in the last episode. Oh, can you guys stop biting me? And there we go, combustor. V two. Uh, looks like we got some steam here. Let off a little bit of steam. Boop, 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 boop. Apparently my one shot missed that little critter. I'm not even sure what you call these critters. Everything does have a name though, so... I might start editing it so you guys can see the enemy names on the screen whenever I say them. And you know what? Screw this. You guys are gonna eat this. Oh, got nasty. Supposed to tell you how to long jump, but I think if you fail, it tells you how to long jump. Oh, guts all over the place. Ooh, this planet is just absolutely nasty. Oh, I don't think we fight him here, but that is what this game calls a leviathan. And those creatures are actually reoccurring. They're only found on certain planets, or moons, depending on where you are. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, poo nuggets. Well, another one? I wasn't expecting you to send out another another one again. Man, there's a lot of them. Good experience, though. Not gonna lie on that part. Ooh, good. Three fusion grenade. Sometimes upgrading your weapons, too, also gives it more ammo. Like, I don't mean just, like, you pick up more ammo. I mean the fact that you actually get more ammo. Now those chests, those pirate chests, those actually contain rare goodies in them. Generally huge amounts of rare goodies. Generally rare titanium. You have acquired rare titanium. This valuable resource can be used to upgrade your weapons. Simply go to a weapons vendor and select the upgrade weapons option. Yeah, that's going to be very important. Is there a Swear there should be like a bolt multiplier here because of all the boxes, but Apparently not. Normally you get introduced to them really early in the game. If they're in the game. Which I believe these games they actually are. Okay, you're... Oh god, there's another one. Like, why do you guys have to turn into a bunch of goop when you die? Like, that's so... just... Blech. Or Ratchet dealing with all these nasty creatures all the time. Boingy boinger boingy boinga da da da. And more ammunition, and more goodies. Yeah, like 20,000 bolts now. Woo! Yeah, see, it tells us to glide there. It didn't tell us how to long jump when we needed to, so... I don't get what the game does half the time. Oh, let's see. Oh, that thing can actually attack us from there. But if, if the, it can, we can. And for some reason, our one-shot missed. The comet strike is an effective way to reach distant enemies and bolts. Simply crouch, then press square to throw your wrench. Yeah, what she was saying I was just doing to show you guys while she was talking about it. Oh, 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 oh. It's always the little enemies that get me just because of the fact... Oh, yeah, when you upgrade your nanotech, it tends to kill everything on screen if it's weak enough. Oh, he actually hit me, but there's so much nanotech lying around it didn't matter. Oh, that's... And things are going well so far. Oh, bolt. Ooh, we can destroy these purple things. And yeah, they give up both 60 bolts. That's not bad at all. Switch your control scheme. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I like the basic control scheme. All right, no, there's the bolt multiplier. Now this will... With the jackpot power-up, you will temporarily earn more bolts and raritanium. Pretty awesome, eh? That you can get more and more stuff, but like this... Just abuse it. God, destroy everything and get the extra money. 
Even though it really didn't give us that much extra. It was still something. No big guys? Oh. They just come through the rock. Because, yeah. you know, these things like to come through rocks. Oh. I wonder if those are like plants or eggs. I hope they're not eggs, because I'm destroying some innocent creature. And this looks like a boss battle, I'm not going to lie. Yep, so we got our first boss battle, and it's a Leviathan. So let's shoot at it. Fairly easy, just avoid its attacks. Or e well, easier said than done if it's just going to ram into my butt like that. And certain enemies, actually, I don't believe any enemy in this game actually has a weak spot, so you don't have to worry about that. These electric balls. Just watch out for them. Because they'll just hurt you, I don't even think they stun you. I just want to upgrade this weapon a little more than the fusion grenade, and it's dead. Ooh, rare titanium. You have collected a Leviathan soul. These are valuable in the Polaris Galaxy and can be traded for bolts. Wait, Kerwan isn't in the Polaris Galaxy. What do you mean, Polaris Galaxy game? Is there something I should know? If you stay in the goop too long, it will kill you. And Oh, where are we? Okay, looks like we got some weird dude there. Attention, Is that a weapon vendor? I hope so. The Imperial Defense Force reports that a Lumbax has infiltrated this star sector. The Empire expects your full cooperation in neutralizing this threat to our security. Ah, Kabalia. So that's where we are. Planet Kabalia. Where if the Pokemon Kobolion lives here? Or Kabalian, I'm not really sure how you say his name. Either way, he's a Pokemon. He's made out of Cobalt. Okay, sweet weapons. Ooh. We can get the Plasma Beast. These synthetic bodyguards will lay dormant until enemies move in, then strike with lethal, lethal efficiency. So let's buy it. Well, let's see if we can upgrade any weapons. Starting off with the Combustor. And at 50 we can get more range. 100 we can get increased shooting. And more range. No, yeah, longer range. Uh, don't really want to do that necessarily right now. More ammo, better damage, yeah. More ammo, more damage, more retaining. Let's do more, uh, more ammo first. So now we have to get some more raritanium, but we do have the Plasma Beast, and it has 9 ammo instead of 8. Oh yeah, you can check the map by pushing the select button. Uh, this allows you to see if you've discovered everything, and which not all that good stuff so I can't believe it costs 40,000 for the next weapon like it's just insane how much the weapons in this game cost compared to the original really appreciation station that guy seems full of himself. Don't you lay this on me, you worthless sack of Kirchu sweat. You were supposed to watch the jail gate. Ah, blame the parrot. Always blame the parrot. Is everything all right, sir? Ah, Imperial spies. Hide their bodies. Ah! Oh, well, excuse my friend. We're just a couple of humble smugglers. Unfairly hunted and persecuted wherever we go. Yep, seems the Imperials have shut down the planet's gelatonium plant. They must be, uh... Looking for someone. Well, we're kind of stranded ourselves. Our ship crashed, crashed back there and. Aw, oh, come now, sell their kidneys. Stranded, hmm? Well, I'll tell you what, pal, we're gonna make you a deal. You get the gel pumps working and we'll, uh, procure a vessel for you. Here, you'll need this gel in there. Okay, so for some reason, the game desync there, not. Like, only the dialogue. I don't know why it does that, but every now and then this game likes to d d d double a cutscene and then it freaking glitches into that. And then. We, uh, have a. What do you do? What do you say? What's the hapstick? 
No, I don't I don't want to shop for devices. We'll use them later on when they're actually more important. As of right now, we don't really have a lot of money anyway, so we don't want to just go blow our money on worthless stuff. There's the ship that we need. But we need to go through the gelatonium factory first. So... The Lombax species. I don't care. He's a bad guy. He doesn't deserve anything. He was trying to kill me. I didn't do anything to anyone. So yeah, you just use this. You fire and create like these jello platforms. It'll allow you to bounce up. Eventually, we'll run into some enemies that will want to eat it. And then it'll get annoying. And just... Shenanigans like that. Can, 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 can. Ratchet, can you... I don't really like his meteor strike in this game. It feels a little weird. Bro. No, you're not supposed to fire on the same one. Boing. See these guys. These guys are the guys that eat the eat the gelatonium. I guess they're in here just because they're hungry, you know. Uh Don't know which way I'm supposed to actually go, so we'll try this way first. Yeah, you can also destroy it by Um, I think that's the way we're supposed to go, so let's try over here. While they're eating that, you can actually use decoy gelatonium to, you know, distract them. Boing. There we go, there's boxes up here. I like the music here, it is kind of catchy. Kind of has the whole factory vibe to it. Like the, the Ratchet and Clank factory vibe, not really like Donkey Kong Country factory vibe or anything cool like that. But, ooh. Rare titanium chests. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, and leech bombs. Those will actually give us health. Hopefully we can make it over there. Burp. I get they're going to it. Eh. Perfect. With that we can get up here. Oh, these guys are just actual enemies. Okay, let's try out the plasma beasts. Wreck them! Ow. Yeah, they can actually attack multiple enemies depending on how they charge at them. So that's always kind of cool. And they're kind of goofy like the insides of those enemies that we were fighting beforehand in this episode. Okay, so we just go up here. This is the Gelinator. We also, well, we also got two Groovatron. Those actually force enemies to dance. It's kind of a weird mechanic, but it's a mechanic nonetheless. And this is a bolt crank. Uh, we kind of seen stuff similar to this in God of War. This is my God of War replacement let's play, so... Eh, gotta make sense. Oh. Apparently that's a wall, an in-game wall of some sort. Just can't really do much with that. But, oh well. Got a lot of boxes. Oh. Jeez, uh... Can you just throw your... Throw your wrench at the TNT crates. They will blow you up and hurt you, obviously. I'm pretty sure I don't have to be descriptive about that. It's pretty self-explanatory. TNT. You're gonna die. Why does the camera keep doing that? Boink. And just fire it over there. Two should be enough to get up here. Barely, but it worked. Destroy everything in your path, Ratchet. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, I don't even know if that actually hurts you. Or it just like bounces you around. There we go. Come on, guys. Come at me, bros. I don't know what you were doing. He was charging at me, but he was going at a really weird angle, and it didn't. Oh. Get out of here. No one cares about you. Oh, we got these gelatonium eaters again. They like to go nom nom, apparently. Okay. Oh man, so much money. It's like a, an orgasm. It's waiting to happen. We need this to open up that bridge. Or, well, I guess it's not really a bridge. I guess it's a, just a grav ramp. Or is it a magnet ramp? Or, or what do they call it? A magna ramp? Can't jump onto it from the side. Oh, then we gotta do this again. Go figure. To open up that door over yonder. Blah. 
gelatonium plant restored to 100% efficiency, Emperor Tachyon will be most displeased. Ooh, gold bolts over there! Don't mind if I do. Yeah, we'll have to go out there and collect some goodies, I see. Yeah, I'll do that later. There's stuff here we want to do before we actually take that, because it'll be a while before we can actually ever come back. And trust me, you don't want to skip out on some of God damn it. Some of the stuff you could find here. Aya! All this just to turn on the factory. And now you gotta come here and drain everything. It's kind of a cool little feature though. Alright, okay, combustor, let's go. Hey, an elevator of some sort. Oh, look at that the beautiful scenery out there. Isn't it absolutely magnificent? Oh, so many boxes that I want. Now, believe to actually get everything, we're actually going to have to go up here. Oh, we don't actually have to talk to him yet. Thought you were actually forced to talk to him. Ooh! The armor upgrade vendor. I don't think we actually have enough for any of his armor, though, so... It's 30,000 for the Black Star armor. Designed by Captain Black Star himself, this amazing armor uses biostatic nanomites to absorb up to 25% of all damage. The finest and affordable anti-mutiny defense wear. Yeah, I'll be back when I can actually afford stuff. Armor is very important. Because later on, enemies that are... Like, enemies will always do a lot of damage the further you get on in the game. But, like, I mean, they'll get even worse. Like, you'll start ringing to enemies that will take away half or most of your health in one hit if you don't have upgraded armor. You're not going to be able to upgrade your armor all the time right away because armor is extremely expensive in this game, but I highly recommend you do so when you can. Now to get that gold bolt we have to go through kind of a little obstacle course normally that in the Rash and Clank games they'll just, they'll make us do anyway, but this one is just a kind of like a bonus one, you know, for goodies. And trust me, we're going to try and collect all the gold bolts and stuff as well. We're going for 100% on this Let's Play. Citizens of Cabalia, if Yay! you are approached by the Renegade Lombax, remember, do not speak to it. Lombax do not is speak to it. For their insidious mind tricks. You must shoot on sight. Do not listen to his treasonous Lombax methods. Yes, because I have insidious mind tricks. I'm definitely not a hero of the... Come on. Oh, God damn it, man. We fell all the way down. Eh, looks like we're going to have to go back. Do I have 40,000 yet? How much money do I have? I don't even have close to enough for the next weapon. Next episode will probably go out there and then continue on with like... Oh, there's nothing out there. Continue on with like the uh, where we're gonna take the ship to. Because we're definitely not going back to planet Kerwan at this rate. So we're not even in the right ga uh, galaxy. Galaxy? Yeah, galaxy. Or system. Oh, I'm like, you better grab onto that, you god darn lamb lambax. Lombax. Lambax. Woohoo! Gotta love me some long jumping going on here. Like Long John Silvers. Long John Silver Ahoy! Man, if only I would take my time a little more frequently, I would cause myself a lot less grief. No, can you? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, there's a gold bolt. Infinity days plus one. Are you not going to tell me what a gold bolt does? Nope, apparently not. Hey, you know what, little robots? I don't like you guys running around my city. Anyways, let's talk to this guy. Oh. So apparently, there I believe there was supposed to be a cutscene here, but for some reason there's not. So in the next episode, we're actually going out the back of the city, or I guess factory, to go collect some Leviathan Souls. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Ratchet & Clank feature Tools of Destruction.